Hey guys, let me welcome you back to the channel. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. So we're going to be talking about the COVID-19 coronavirus today and we're going to be talking about my EDC on um, how my EDC changed due to the virus. Um, what we're going to do is go over a rundown on everything I am carrying right now in my pockets and if I go out now Basically, I don't have to go out because of the fact I got my preps done and everything. So I do want to stay away from people as much as possible. Um, and there's lots of other things that you can be doing at your house um, production-wise. Um, you can be preparing a garden right now. You know, plans for your garden for when the weather warms up, what have you. Um, and I've just been throwing a lot of darts tuning up a lot of tools but that isn't what this video is about so let me take you down to the bench right now I'm gonna be looking at my EDC the EDC is based on the coronavirus there's a couple new things that I have added here um, also there is a couple new products down on the table that I haven't put my keys together on my keychain or nothing i'll be doing that later maybe a different review on that and also on my wallet this is a newer wallet it's got nothing in it yet which i'll be doing a loadout inside that wallet to carry this one from now on um i'm not sure if i'm going to carry it during the coronavirus since it's new maybe i'll carry it after but let's look at everything down on this bench right here. So this is the Fjall Raven Ovic wallet. I'm really liking the wallet. The color's like a cognac color. It's got excellent stitching on it. It's got their logo stamped right there. This is what the inside looks like. So you got plenty of different card slots right here. Got a um, concealed card slot over there. It's got spacious room inside there for plenty of bills what have you now a newer thing that i just added to my edc is these are the black mama gloves these are like really high gauge gloves this is what tattoo artists use you know um they're like um i think like four mil thick or something like that um but they're excellent gloves you know if Tattoo artists use these. These are high gauge gloves, definitely. I mean, they're not those cheap ones that they have, kind of like that you throw off, like in a hospital, what have you. I mean, I know surgeons use really good gloves like this as well, but yeah, so that's new in my EDC. And then over here, this is stuff I carry every day, but I do have those new items that I'm showing you, such as the gloves so far. Now I do have the Topps Bartender Defender right here. Um, it's pretty good, pretty handy. It's been handy in the past for opening your adult beverages or just any bottleneck soda. So I do like carrying that, which I pretty much use that quite a bit, quite a different occasions. The only thing is pretty soon I, I guarantee that, you know, you're not gonna get be able to get long neck root beers no more in a bottle or coke in a bottle what have you so this is another new item um these are my under armor sunglasses right here i'm really liking these sunglasses um and they're polarized sunglasses it's really got a nice tint to them it's got a polarized like color of a blue um it keeps the sun the uv rays out of your eyes um, I like the profile on these sunglasses as well so I'll put those over to the side real quick um, of course the, I, I always carry beaters because I use knives every day so I carry a low-end knife even though I got many of videos on other high-end knives out there on my channel so this is this um, the Spyderco Tenacious right here so I do use this a lot. Um, I got many of different colors on the Spider Co Tenacious, such as camouflage and the OD green, and a couple sprint runs as well on the Spider Co Tenacious. So yeah, I'm re really liking it. I've carried it for so many years now. It's just um, 
one of my go-to knives basically. And then um, this is this a Victorinox Swiss Army knife. So it's a basic Swiss Army knife right here. Um, you do have a blade here right here, which you know you can use for smaller things. You know, cutting threads like say off of a sweatshirt or this getting into those tighter areas. Right here, what we're looking at is, of course, just like a nail file. And then also you got like a Phillips head right here. I mean a flat head right there. So I really like that feature. On the back side, of course, I like my scissors always with me, you know. I got other multi-tools and stuff, but I prefer going lightweight. So I do have the scissors. You got the tweezers on here which I use quite a bit to pull slivers out um, when I'm on my job site and of course to clean your teeth a little bit is a toothpick right there. Um, I really like the camouflage color um, when I'm more out into the woods I carry the brighter colors like the reds, the oranges of the Victorinox knife. Um, also I like this feature right here sometimes I do tie a paracord to that so I can pull it out of my pocket and find it a little bit easier. Now, we're going to be looking at an older model Olight right here. This was sent by Olight many of, like about it, probably a year ago. Um, the model on this one is, I think, let me see, it's the i3T EOS. That's what it is. Um, I can't remember the lumens on this light. Somewhere probably around 100 lumens maybe 120 but I do have a review out so if you're looking into this copper light um, I'm not sure if they still make this copper one they might um, but if you're looking for the review um, you can search through my videos and I'm sure you're going to be able to find it with ease um, also what we got right here is a newer product okay this is a key fob by Fial Raven you know I like my Fial Raven stuff a lot. Um, I haven't put my keys on this because this is brand new. So I do got the Key Smart on here. So the Key Smart is pretty cool. It's a magnetic key fob. So it goes together like so. And you can trade off your keys. So like if your wife needs a key in a heartbeat, you can give her the key. Also I got a... Um, Glow key fob right here. Um, I can't remember who makes this one. I've had this for many of years. Um, I just never reviewed it or anything. If I think of the maker of this glow in the dark key fob, I'll drop it down below in that description box for you guys. Now, since the coronavirus is here, I changed up a couple different things that I can stick in my jacket pocket, okay? So right here, we got a brand new N95 mask. I got many of these masks. Um, it does an excellent job on filtering out any kind of, you know, spreading of diseases, what have you. They're not going to get in your nose or your mouth. These are also excellent for any kind of painting project that you have. I highly recommend these. Actually, I got a whole box of these right here, so that's where I'm getting them from. The whole box of the N95 respirator masks. Um, th those work out good, and plus, you know, you're going EDC, so they fold up really nice in your pocket as well. So I'll keep sticking that there. And right here, what we got is we got the hand sanitizer. Um, it kills germs. 99.9% .9 and any bacteria. This is um, like an organic hand sanitizer. So I am using this. Um, I got quite a few bottles of that, which I'm really stoked about, really happy about that I do have that. So the mask and the gloves right here and the hand sanitizer are something different to my EDC and the newer stuff is going to be of course my wallet and my key fob which I haven't done a loadout on. Now this is pretty cool to have too because you know since the coronavirus is here you're going to want to keep all your change together 
and it's better not to keep it in your pocket because you're always sticking your hands in your pocket and you, you're going to be touching your coins and stuff and, and that's a good way to spread germs so I want to keep it all concealed in this little coin pouch right here. Now the maker on this coin pouch is going to be Maxpedition. Um, these are pretty nice. So they open like that. It just snaps open like that. Their logo is right there, Maxpedition. And of course on that button as well, it says Maxpedition. And so they fold out like that, you know. So you can keep all your coins in there, fairly nice. Um, you can put your hands in your pocket without getting any kind of germs from whatever you touched out there. So this is just a couple good um, tips to have. Something that you might want to add to your EDC, a couple items here. So that's why I'm doing this um, like coronavirus EDC update right here for the natural disaster. Now I do have a firearm right here. So I got a nice um, holster as well on here. Um, I carried this one outside my waist. I got inside my waist carry as well. So let's look at that. Let me cover up that serial number real quick. Um, you want to always check your firearm to make sure it's not loaded. I'm shooting um, Hornady in there right now. So the firearm is not loaded. So that's what the firearm looks like. Um, this is going to be the Glock 10 millimeter right here. So it's an excellent firearm. Um, it's a really high packed firearm. Um, for you know self-defense or even if you're going to take down small game what have you I mean this isn't something I'll use on small game but this is the firearm that I do carry for self-defense situations especially in a huge crisis like this this pandemic that we're having here um, worldwide um, you're always going to want to carry something to protect you, yourself, and your family. So that's all I have today on my EDC. I do want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, consider subscribing. And also, if you're going to subscribe to the channel, also hit that bell icon to get notified of all my newest videos and all my newest releases. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.